the Kardashians often find themselves in the middle of some crazy music industry feuds. And a lot of that might actually have to do with Corey Gamble. Corey is Kris Jenner's boyfriend, and his job has definitely caused some crazy controversies for the whole family. Listen closely because this whole thing is seriously messy. When you think about famous feuds within the music industry, the Kardashians aren't exactly the first ones that come to mind, but maybe they should be. Despite already having some involvement in the industry due to their close friendship with Justin Bieber, things really started getting interesting for them once Corey got involved. Corey and Kris Jenner officially started their relationship in 2014 when they met at a mutual friend's party. At the time, Corey worked in the music industry as a talent manager under the industry giant Scooter Braun. And while he worked under Scooter, he specifically worked as a road manager to Justin. In fact, Corey had worked with Justin so closely, he even called Justin his nephew at one point. And like I said, before meeting Corey, the Kardashian family already had their own connection to Justin as they first met him back in 2010. At the time, he had done a photo shoot with Kim at a beach in the Bahamas, and he's been a friend of the family ever since. So it makes sense that Corey eventually met the Kardashians. But along with their new connection to Corey, it seemed as though his addition to the family made their relationship with Taylor Swift even worse. And surprisingly enough, the Kardashians have found themselves at the center of, or at least closely related to, nearly all of Taylor's past drama. Although he's quiet about his career, by all accounts, it seems as though Corey is still working closely with Scooter in the industry. As of December 2021, he was still associated with SB Projects, which is owned by Scooter, and it was also believed that he would join Justin for his 2022 Justice World Tour. But if you know anything about Scooter, you might know that Taylor has been in an incredibly public feud with him for the last several years. The whole thing started back in 2019 when Taylor accused Scooter of not allowing her to play any of her old songs at the AMA Awards. After leaving her record label, Big Machine Records, her first six studio albums were acquired by Scooter, and this meant that he was in control of them and Taylor claimed that he was holding her music hostage and wasn't allowing her to use it for any project, including her Miss Americana Netflix documentary. In response, the record label said that Taylor was basically lying and that she even owed millions of dollars to their company. But Taylor clapped back and said that not only was the record label lying, but they actually owed her nearly $8 million in unpaid royalties. While she was eventually given the green light to perform any song she wanted at the AMAs, it didn't stop the feud between her and Scooter. It seemed as though just months after the performance, Scooter attempted to use an old performance to sell a live album without Taylor's consent. And she said that the whole thing was pretty shady and that she felt like it was just an effort from Scooter to try and make back the money he spent in buying her masters. Eventually, he sold all of Taylor's masters in an investment fund for $300 million, leaving Taylor to go back and re-record all of her old music. The whole thing is pretty crazy and something that she's still currently dealing with as many of us await her next re-recorded album. But as I mentioned before, Corey has worked and is continuing to work directly under Scooter and no doubt was there during this whole mess. So it seems as though Corey's job doesn't exactly make things great for the Kardashians relationship with Taylor. But interestingly enough, this isn't the first time the Kardashians have found themselves in the middle of a Taylor feud. As we all know, Kim started dating Kanye West back in 2011 and they later got married in 2014 and we all know what went down between Kanye and Taylor. While their feud originally started at the MTV Awards back in 2009 when Kanye took over Taylor's acceptance speech, it picked up again in 2016. That year, Kanye released his Life of Pablo album, which he claimed that he made Taylor famous in one of the songs. Taylor responded to the name drop pretty negatively and claimed that she didn't give her consent to be in it at all. Kim took matters into her own hands at that point and took the opportunity to call out Taylor and claim that she knew about the song the whole time. While it might be true that she knew Kanye was going to reference her, Taylor said that she wasn't aware of the actual line and that he would be calling her a name. And she stood up against Kanye in her 2016 Grammy acceptance speech, which Kim said was just another way for her to be the victim. And then in 2017, a source came forward to say that Kim and Kanye both found Taylor's new song, Look What You Made Me Do, completely pathetic. Taylor's negative relationship with the Kardashian family has only continued over the years. She was even indirectly involved in some drama with them earlier this year. When the drama went down between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez, Taylor found herself once again at odds with the Kardashians. Because as it turns out, Selena is Taylor's best friend and has been for years. Although the drama between Hailey and Selena might not sound like it would involve the Kardashian family, Kylie Jenner was actually a huge part of it. In fact, it was Kylie's comment.
comments making fun of Selena's eyebrows that sparked the whole drama in the first place. So again, the Kardashians were in the middle of another music industry feud. It's pretty strange to think about just how much the Kardashians randomly find themselves in the middle of these feuds. And while no one really knows just how much Corey's job and connections might have impacted things, it definitely didn't help with the whole Taylor thing. And it's probably still a factor in all this. I mean, Kim and Kanye obviously aren't together anymore, but Chris and Corey very much still are. And from what we know, Corey might still be working with Scooter. So I don't think the relationship the Kardashians have with Taylor will be getting better anytime soon. But anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on all this? Do you think that Corey's job and his involvement with Scooter works in the Kardashians' relationship with Taylor? And do you think Taylor and the Kardashians will ever be able to move forward from their differences? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.